our planet and surely our sun do appear to be encountering some sensational changes right now. We have been detailing about both, regularly finished the weeks. Right now and as per volcano discovery, there are really 40 volcanoes around the world ejecting. Just six of them are not along the ring of fire. Michael Snyder from Monetary Crumple Blog says that if that sounds like a high number to you, that is on the grounds that it is a high number. He composes. As I have expounded on already, there were a sum of 3,542 volcanic emissions amid the whole 20th century. When you partition that number by 100, that gives you a normal of around 35 volcanic ejections for each year. So the quantity of volcanoes that are emitting at the present time is well over the 20th century's normal for a whole datebook year. Furthermore, obviously we are seeing a colossal measure of seismic tremor action also. Nepal was recently hit by the most exceedingly awful seismic tremor that it had found in 80 years, and researchers are revealing to us that the Himalayas really dropped by a surprising 3 feet because of that one quake. What amount more does our planet need to shake before individuals begin focusing? Obviously the things that we have been seeing recently are a piece of a substantially bigger long-haul drift. Seismic action seems to have been getting more grounded in the course of recent decades, and now things truly appear to be quickening. The accompanying is the manner by which one news source as of late condensed what we have been seeing. In the event that it appears like seismic tremors and emitting volcanoes are going on more every now and again, that is on account of they are taking a gander at worldwide greatness 6, M6, or more prominent from 1980 to 1989 there was a normal of 108.5 seismic tremors for every year, from 2000 to 2009 the planet found the middle value of 160.9 quakes for each year that is a 38.9% expansion of M6 plus quakes lately. Agitation additionally is by all accounts developing among the world's supervolcanoes. Iceland, which is home to the absolute most perilous volcanoes on the planet, Santrini in Greece, Uterunku in Bolivia, the Yellowstone and Long Valley Cauldras in the US, Laguna del Mall in Chile, Italy's Campi Flegrai. The majority of the world's dynamic supervolcanic frameworks are presently displaying a few indications of swelling. An early sign that weight is working in these volcanic frameworks. Obviously most Americans are never going to think about any of this until the point that it begins influencing them by and by. All things considered, maybe they should begin focusing on the notice signs. Lately we have seen huge seismic tremors in Michigan, Texas, Mississippi, California. Idaho, and Washington. Furthermore, it is being accounted for that weight is working in lethargic volcanoes in Arizona and California. Because we have not had an executioner tremor or a vast volcanic emission in the U.S. as of late does not imply that it will dependably be that way. At the present time the whole planet has all the earmarks of being awakening, and this particularly is by all accounts valid for the Ring of Fire. In the event that you are not comfortable with the Ring of Fire, Simply envision a monster ring that circles the external edge of the Pacific Ocean. Around 90% of all quakes and roughly 75% of every single volcanic emission happen inside this territory, and the whole west shore of North America is thought to be a piece of the ring of fire. For so long, the West Drift has been fantastically honored not to have encountered a noteworthy seismic occasion. In any case, Researchers disclose to us that it is just a short time. What's more, at the present time, pretty much every other piece of the ring of fire is shaking viciously. For instance, an extent 6.8 tremor simply hit Japan on Wednesday. An extent 6.8 tremor that shook up East Japan on Wednesday was a delayed repercussion of the staggering 2011 shake that set off a huge tidal wave and atomic power plant emergency. We view this current morning seismic tremor as a post-quake tremor of the 2011 Northeastern Pacific Earthquake, said Yohei Hasegawa, an authority at the Japanese Meteorological Office. The quake, which struck soon after 6 a.m. nearby time, 5 p.m. ET Tuesday, was started by the Pacific Structural Plate subducting, or moving under, the principal arrive plate, he included. Hasegawa cautioned that more tremors might be headed. 
one Japanese master is cautioning that Japan may have entered a period of awesome quakes and volcanic emissions, and considering the gigantic decimation that the colossal tremor and tidal wave of 2011 caused, that is an exceptionally calming appraisal. In the interim, a progression of extremely solid tremors have struck Papua New Guinea as of late also. The accompanying originates from the Washington Post. An effective seismic tremor shook Papua New Guinea on Thursday, the fourth solid shake to hit the South Pacific Island country in seven days. The earthquake incited authorities to issue a neighborhood tidal wave cautioning, yet it was lifted in the blink of an eye thereafter without any reports of harm. The 7.1 extend shudder struck around 150 kilometers, 94 miles, southwest of the town of Pangana on Bougainville Island at a profundity of 23 kilometers, 14 miles, the U.S. Topographical Survey announced. By and by, in light of the fact that things have dependably been a sure way does not imply that they will dependably be that way. As Americans, we are not acclimated to being worried about real seismic tremors and gigantic volcanic ejections, yet that could soon change bigly. In all actuality our planet and our sun are changing in ways that are erratic and that our researchers don't totally get it. For instance, a current Live Science article talked about the way that researchers are profoundly bewildered by the way that the attractive field of our planet is getting weaker ten times speedier than already accepted. Researchers definitely realize that attractive north moves. Once every couple of hundred thousand years the attractive posts flip with the goal that a compass would point south rather than north. While changes in attractive field quality are a piece of this typical flipping cycle, information from the swarm have demonstrated the field is beginning to debilitate speedier than before. Beforehand, scientists evaluated the field was debilitating around 5% for every century except the new information uncovered the field is really debilitating at 5% for each decade, or 10 times speedier than thought. All things considered, as opposed to the full flip happening in around 2000 years, as was anticipated, the new information proposed it could happen sooner.